Hey guys, this is Dodoid. So, a while ago, I saw a listing on GC Surplus, that's the Canadian government's surplus website, for some assorted computer hardware. And I bought it. I paid, I think, 225 Canadian dollars for these four boxes of stuff. And we're going to be taking a look over what's inside these boxes. So, let's start with the cardboard box. Inside, we have two Intel Xeon E5530s, eight Intel Xeon E5620s, two Intel Xeon E5310s, four older Intel Xeons from the pre-LGA771 era, two semi-recent AMD Opterons, two Intel Xeon X5460s, four Intel Xeon E5335s, and two Socket 771 Xeons of some sort. Next we'll take a look at the first BlackBerry box. This one contains some power components from HP servers, I believe. So I'm not going to take these out because I don't totally know what they are. But as you can see, these are sort of slot-in modules. I presume they have to do with the power supply in these HPs. This next box is absolutely chock full of DDR2 RAM. Most of this is in the 512 meg to 1 gig sort of range. And of course it's all ECC because this is server stuff. There's also this little box, which I think has some other RAM in it. And then finally, there's this. If I'm not mistaken, this is an entire box of 4 gigabyte DDR2 ECC RAM sticks, meaning that this box contains over 170 gigabytes of DDR2. So now we come to the question of what am I going to do with all this stuff? Well, these HP power modules will probably just be sold off because I don't have any HP servers that use these, so I can't really make use of those. This RAM will probably largely be sold, but since it's pretty high density, I'll probably end up using some of it in my own machines. This RAM is reasonably low capacity stuff, and I'll probably end up selling it off in bulk. And finally, for the processors, I'll probably use some of them, especially since I've already bought some stickers to convert LGA-771 to LGA-775 for use on motherboards intended for Core 2 series processors, but some of the others will likely be sold off. I have bought an LGA-1366 motherboard to test the LGA-1366 CPUs with, and you might see that soon. Right now, the last missing piece to get that working is a CPU cooler, so stay tuned. Anyway, if you did enjoy the video, then please do subscribe as we're still a very, very small channel and it does help us grow. And until next time, bye.